all done. How's it coming for you? If you're finished, you should join us for a beer. Sorry, I'm not even close yet. You guys better go on without me. Good luck, man. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't work all night, okay? So where should we go? I know a good dive bar. This is taking ages. What do I care? No one's waiting up for me. After this, I can either watch TV or try and finish up a game. It's good to be out of there. You're all right. You just need to flush out the system. There sure are lots of people in this world, and they're all just like me. Uh, excuse me. Hey, watch out! and I just learned to hunt. I live in this forest along with my grandpa, have my whole life. But I remember my last life. I have memories of growing up on a planet called Earth in a country called Japan. I'm pretty sure I died there, but I can't quite remember how. I'm home! Ah, so you are. How is your hunt? I'm eager to see the spoils. This old man is named Merlin Wolford. Years ago, he found me in a wrecked carriage in the woods that had been attacked by a demon. I was just a baby, and no one else survived, so he took me in. Ah, three chickens and a boar. Could have got more, but you said not to overhunt. Wind blade slashes. That's an excellent choice, my boy. I feel like they're what's best suited for hunting. The biggest difference between this world and Earth is that in this world, magic's real. My grandpa's extremely well-versed in magic. He's taught me a lot. Good, now let's see how your flames are coming. Shin, set that wood alight. Sure! The magic in this world works without any chanting. You just have to visualize what you want to create. Whoa! And honestly, I'm pretty relieved about that. From what I remember of my past life, chanting incantations and calling out spell names would have been a little embarrassing. <gasps> Granny Melita's coming and Mikhail's with her. They're here for you. My magic is a good start, but you should study swordsmanship and magical gear too. Right. You're hunting boar now? Merlin, that's far too dangerous, even for him. This is Melita Bowen. She's a friend of Grandpa's, and she comes to visit us pretty often. It's not really that dangerous, especially since I still have the magic gear we made together. There shouldn't be an eight-year-old in this world that can hunt down a wild boar by itself. But there is. Oh, shut up! Shin's exceptionally skilled with magic, you know that. Not to mention this forest has practically been his backyard. Sounds like your magic's getting ahead of your combat skills. That means it's time I took off the kid gloves for your training. Uh, you don't have to do that. <laughs> We're hunting a demon? Well, I plan to do the fighting, but now that you're ten, I think you should at least see what they're like. What are they like? Magic permeates this whole world, and all living creatures can reap its benefits, but some are unable to keep the magic they would use under control. The powerful and wildly violent being this creates is known as a demon. Even a human being can become one. A person turned into a demon a long time ago and almost destroyed a whole country, right? Didn't you have to go and save them, Grandpa? So you're a big hero there, even now. <laughs> that was a long time back, but yes. Now let's start by finding the demon. How do we do that? If you thinly spread your magic power around yourself, 
you can sense when it comes into contact with anything else's magic. And since all living creatures have magic, you'll know what is where right away. This is known as search magic. It's quite useful, too. Although I should mention, it requires more finesse than most of the spells I've shown you. Wow, I can feel the magic in all the creatures of the forest. I can even sense Granny Melida back in her house. Hmm, I knew he could work it out, but on his first try? That sinister feeling. What's it coming from? Ah, must be the demon. You're sensing the magic power that corrupted it. We need to destroy it right now! Won't something bad happen if we just let it roam around? Yes, but this is dangerous, so I want you to be careful. Okay, job? Hope I didn't mess things up. No, you did great. Left me speechless for a moment. That was a sight to behold. I couldn't have done better myself. You mean it? So our demon hunt was successful? It certainly was. Oh, yeah! Exactly what kind of enchantment did you put on your sword and boots? Uh, just the usual stuff, you know. Shin took down a demonized red grizzly? Yes, he moved so fast that I couldn't even help. Shin's a prodigy. I've never seen someone learn so fast. He's already better with magic than most adults. He's keeping up with Mikhail's combat training, and he's memorized countless enchantments in the original tongue. It's not inconceivable that the boy really did come from another world. Shin's origins couldn't mean less to me. All that matters is that when he looks up and calls me Grandpa, I can't help but adore him. Blood or no, he is still my grandson. I can't believe I'm hearing this from the man once known as the Lord of Destruction. Why must you dredge up the past? Is my embarrassment that amusing? Let's just say the title of Wise Man seems to suit you better. I adore that boy every bit as much as you do, Merlin. I'm not able to visit as much as I'd like, but I think of him as if he were my grandson, too. That's enough for today. How's your training coming along? Green Hill's been going really hard on me lately. <laughs> Yet it looks to me like you're keeping up with him. Anyway, Shin, I have something I need to tell you. Wait a sec, you're saying I'm not really your grandson? Hmm. My apologies, Shin. I should have told you much sooner. Thing is, I already know that. This must have been the work of a demon. There's no saving them, but I can give them a decent burial. Uh, what is that, a crying infant? How do you survive? Uh, could this be Providence at work? Your temperature had dropped from the rain. Maybe that's why the demon missed you. But frankly, I wonder if it wasn't the same. No. Could it have been that red grizzly? Shin. I was just thinking as possible, you know? If it was, well, it's nice to think that maybe I got to avenge my parents. There's a chance you did just that. So, uh, do you have any idea who my parents were? Their possessions were nondescript, and their bodies were both ravaged beyond recognition, so no. Oh, well. You're taking this news rather well. Hmm. Well, I know they were my parents, but I don't remember them. Also, I've always had a great grandpa. Oh, uh... And on top of that, I've got Granny Melida and Mikhail, too. I've just never felt like I was missing anything. Shin. Listen, Grandpa, I want to tell you how grateful I am. Thanks for taking me in. I'm really glad you did. Oh, shit! <laughs> Come on, stop crying, Grandpa! It's embarrassing! I 
I'm so happy. But really, though, thanks, Grandpa. Shin, the grandson of our hero, Master Merlin, has just turned 15 and is to be regarded as a man from this day forward. <laughs> a toast to the young man's 15 years and to the many years ahead of him. To Shin! To, to Shin! Shin! It's hard to accept that the little baby I once knew has grown into a man. It happened much faster than we thought. I was meaning to ask, where do you plan to go from here? I don't know. You're free to pursue your dreams now. The first step is deciding what you wish to do. Well, for one thing, I've never actually gone beyond the forest. So to start off, I might go visit a nearby town. I see. And then what? Should there be more? What do you want to become? Since you learned how to fight from Sir Mikhail himself, I'd imagine you could join the Royal Order. You could also do well as a demon hunter. Mm-hmm. I didn't know demon hunting was a profession. Yes, there's actually a group called the Demon Hunter Society. They have a system through which hunters get rewards for their victories. Wow, you haven't even heard about them? No, I haven't thought about jobs much. You could also do pretty well in chanting and selling magic gear. Or if the working life isn't your style, you could always use those looks to get a girlfriend to support you. Luckily, he isn't sick enough in the head to think in those terms. Say what? Did I stutter? Oh, huh, yeah. Now that I'm an adult, I guess I need to start making money. Not to mention, I need to learn how to use it. Hold on a moment. You mean, you've never gone shopping before? Nope, can't say I have. <gasps> You're kidding, Merlin! I may have forgotten to teach him some common practices. What? Come to think of it, I don't really know much of anything aside from how to fight and use magic. Eh, I'm sure it'll all work out. Oh, amazing. How did we come so far in the blink of an eye? We teleport? Yes, Shin made the spell himself. A spell like that could transform the world's supply chains, communication, even the way people think. As if it wasn't amazing enough that he mastered all the magic Merlin and I taught him. I'm enjoying the walk and all, but is there some reason you brought us out here? Yes, to ensure our safety. I thought it best that we do this in a place without much around. Safety? <laughs> I've already seen this myself. I'd advise all of you to brace yourselves. Uh -huh. Shin, show them an attack spell. Treat this like it's one of your tests. Yeah, sure. How about a fire spell? Uh -huh. <laughs> First, visualize the flames, then create a spark. As long as there's oxygen, this creates a small flame. I've never seen such a pale blue flame in my whole life. Isolate more oxygen and hydrogen. Encase the mixture, sealing it from surrounding air, and ignite it from the flashpoint on impact! that fire spell and his teleportation magic. I'm concerned about setting Shin loose on the world. And don't forget that Mikhail trained him in close combat. Neighboring lands would do anything to get him on their side. Mm, this is bound to spark conflict. So it's bad that I'm strong? Master Merlin, your grandson's abilities could be enough to upset the balance of power in the whole region. And on top of that, he's utterly ignorant as to how this world works. If we send him into the world as is, it'll spell disaster. Imagine if an expansionist nation like the Empire learned of him. Yes, I see your point. But there is an alternative. Enroll Shin in the Magic Academy as a starting point to learn of the world. Huh? It almost sounds as if you wish to use Shin's power for your own country's purposes. I would never exploit Shin for military use. I've always thought of him as my nephew. I've no wish to involve him in our nation's disputes. Hold on, what's the Magic Academy? It's a school of magic in the royal capital. Those students who prove to be exceptional at magic in middle school are invited to continue their studies there. 
If you were to attend yourself, you would discover just how far off the scale you are. Wait, am I really off the scale? Not to mention you haven't had a chance to be around people your own age before. This could be a good opportunity for you to make some friends. That is persuasive, but what are your thoughts, Shin? Sounds good. I think I might enjoy going to school. Then I'll make arrangements back at the academy. Your classes are determined based on how you perform at the entrance exams, naturally. My nation's magic academy is under absolutely no influence from the nobility, and it operates on an extremely strict merit system. So I can't show you any favoritism, not that you would need it. I'm kind of confused here. What do you mean when you say my nation? Oh, I guess I never mentioned that, did I? I'll start with my name. In full, it's Diesem von Erlside. And I'm the monarch of the kingdom of Erlside. My uncle Dies is a king? So then, what about my big sis Chris and my big bro Sieg? I'm a member of the Order of the Royal Guard. And I'm here now as His Majesty's escort. And I'm a veteran magician with the Court Magic Division, also here as an escort. Huh? Big Sis Chris I can understand, but Big Bro Seek? There's no way! What does that mean? Guess we can add a keen eye to Shin's list of traits. Just keep on running your mouth. Don't worry, I fully intend oh, yeah? to. <laughs> what about you, Mikhail? <laughs> oh, I'm retired, actually. But I used to be Knight Commander of the Order. Why didn't anybody tell me this when I met them the first time? You really haven't told him a thing about this world, have you? My mistake. I still don't get why a king would be a house guest of my grandpa's. I'm sure you've heard the tale of Master Merlin's fight when he defeated the demonoid man. Yeah, Grandpa told me about it himself. It was Earl's side the fiend attacked. This was the first demonoid that we'd ever seen. And everywhere it went, it left death. Two subjugation squads had fallen. What's more, a whole city had been wiped off the map. In the midst of the crisis, the nation had to draft its students, and I, then the Crown Prince and a student of the Magic Academy, ignored all objections and volunteered to join a subjugation squad. But then... Your Highness, run! <laughs> Just as the demonoid was about to take my life... I'd step back, kid. It's rather dangerous here. I was saved by Merlin and Melida in the nick of time. Melida fought beautifully, graceful and bewitching with her magical gear. And Merlin was a force of nature, ferocious and unrelenting. What a sight they were. I can't express how great my admiration for them was. Bewitching and ferocious? We were full of youthful excess. I can still do a little bewitching when I feel like it. After these two put down the demonoid, they were named heroes for delivering our nation from crisis. And since that day, we've shared a friendship that went beyond our stations. Mostly, I like coming here so I can bellyache about work. I see. Wait, bellyache? <laughs> You've learned that I'm a king, yet you aren't treating me any differently. Thing is, proper royal etiquette is another thing Grandpa forgot to teach me. Not to worry, you're one of the only people I can have a conversation this relaxed with, so make sure you never change, Shin. Yeah, well, anyway. The real surprise here mm. is that Grandpa and Granny formed a party once. Mm. Those two did a lot more than form a party. They used to be husband and wife. Huh? Mm. Huh? Huh? For real? We're almost to the capital. So hey, Grandpa, what's your house at the capital like? Is it big? I don't quite remember. It was bestowed upon me by the country, so I think it was large. At least we've got other dimensional storage space for the move-in, right? And listen, Granny, I know you weren't all that keen on coming to live with us, but I'm really glad you decided to do it anyway. I had no choice. I mean, it's not like I could leave everything up to this doddering old man. Uh, look, the Capitol walls. <laughs> do you have identification? Certainly. Will this do? Right here. Ah! Merlin, the wise man, and Melida, the guru! I can't believe it! Wait, the wise man's here? And the guru? No way! Where are they? Let's find them! Pardon, but could I ask that you finish this up quickly? Y yes sir, I'm terribly sorry. Um, who might the young master be? Master? You may call him Shin Wolfer. He's my and Melida's grandson. Master Shin! Master Shin! It's huge. We, we bid you all welcome home, Master Smerlin and Shin, Mistress Melida. Uh, hi there. 
My name is Steve. I'm your head butler. My name is Marika. I'll be your head maid. And I'm Kohler, your head chef. If you require something, you need but ask, and we'll make it yours. What gives with the sudden VIP treatment? I would imagine Deesom sent them here once he knew we were coming. I'm starting to remember why we don't like to visit. Huh? Melida and I can handle things here. Why don't you go explore the town a bit? Okay, we will do. Um, is this enough? That was my first time buying something. Scary. Stop with the harsh words. The boys and I just want to have a little fun with you. This could be fun for you, too, if you let it. Hell, it might even feel good. These guys are walking cliches. Uh, excuse me. Are these guys bothering huh? you? Uh, they are! We're extremely freaking bothered! Are you trying to start something, kid? I bet he thinks he's some kind of hero. We risk our lives every day to protect these ladies by hunting demons, so we're the real heroes. So you guys hunt demons. While I have to admit, that does sound like a noble line of work. If you hunt girls too, then you're just a bunch of scumbags. Why did you just call us punk? So slow. You all right? Hope they didn't hurt you. We're fine, but what about you? That guy pulled a dagger. Yeah, but luckily for me, he didn't know how to use it. Um, thank you so much for helping us. I'm really grateful. <gasps> are you sure you're okay? Oh, how are you so cute?